right there is uh, 18 by 10 inch rim on a 285 what is that uh 285 30 18s so that's a 30 series tire and i do have my fenders rolled and you see it pokes out just a little bit when you look at it from the top it's actually that's even it's actually just perfect the way i like it but I got a one inch spacer on there, believe it or not, on a Fox body. And this is a fresh paint job, but I, I really hate the paint color. I had a wild strawberry and this is like a electric current red. And I had a brighter silver, but this is a silver on there. And I really, I really don't like this darker color, even though it's okay. But I really thought it was a, the cold was wild strawberry. So it's my fault on that. But I mean, the car look way better than this, in that other color. But this is acceptable, I and mean, you can't compare it because you don't know. But here's the uh, wheel from the back. And like I said, it does stick out a little bit. And this is it from the bottom, the 285. And that's uh, Sumi, Sumi Tumo tires. And this is positive traction. We got positive traction rear end. And I have uh, oh, another video I'll show you. I got, you can see, I got Flowmaster Super 10s. They're not really dumps. I just got them coming straight out. You know, they're loud as hell. Especially in the cabin, but outside they give a reverberation all the way around the car. Pretty loud. I got uh, shorty headers. Of course, no cats. Uh, not a cam yet, but I don't really need a cam. I think it's going to make that much more horsepower. Yeah, this is a 2002 Fox Body. And also, I have the, the front end. I have the front end um, lowered. So, it looks kind of funny, probably in this video, but it's really, I get a lot of compliments because it does give it a wider appearance, a wider stance, a meteor look. And I have the front end drop pretty steep. And I got all my fenders rolled. And I got the tires tucked just a little bit. The 18s. And those are uh, Riken. Uh, Riken, what's that? Riken 255. 30. 35 18. So 255 is in the front. 285 is in the rear. And I got the close to aftermarket 5.0 badge that goes on the newer Mustangs and this is a uh, paint is electric current red um, by Ford stand this is not red at all to me it looks more like a maroon or something I hate maroon but I guess you can call it a dark red I mean to me it's a maroon and this bottom is not quite a silver it's like a I had a lighter silver than this, believe it or not. It was like a frosty silver, really. I really liked it, but this is more like a, this is more like a gray or something, but like a silverish gray. I really liked the brighter silver because it had a, a higher contrast. And I'm showing you the tires. I'm just gonna show you the whole car, well, most of the car. I got the newer headlights in case somebody want to get them. Uh, these are the new headlights because uh, the other ones just kind of worn over with a film. I don't have the new fog lights, so the fog lights are original. And so that's it. Of course, I got the aftermarket hood. It's not a perfect fit. You can tell it by the gaps, but from a distance, nobody can tell. But people really like the stance of the car. It is a drop top. And uh, it is lowered. It is loud as hell. And uh, it's my baby for now. I got the Convertible top motor not working, but I've re released the uh, I released the hydraulic pump, so I just laid up and down like an umbrella. Just easy, no resistance. But that's it. I don't have even have it washed. It's just a new paint job, so I haven't even washed it. It's got pollen on it. So anyway, this is my 2000 and no 1992 no 1993. 
lowered 5.0 five speed black leather interior and uh I hate the paint job. I really do. I really hate this color. But anyway, this is Candyman Junior signing out.